then that sunrise was beautiful. So it is Wednesday morning and I had meant to film Tool Time Tuesday yesterday and have it come out today. Uh, I didn't get around to filming it yesterday, so I'm gonna film it really quickly this morning. I'm kind of getting ready for that. Then uh, that will come out today. I'll edit that quickly and then this vlog will come out afterwards. But for right now, let's go ahead and quickly film uh, Tool Time Tuesday. Uh, and since this video is gonna come out after Tool Time Tuesday, if you don't watch that one, you might be interested. We're talking about checkering files. All right, we got Tool Time Tuesday is exporting right now. A lot of echo in here too. That's because uh, we don't have furniture in here yet. And uh, here I'll show you some of the projects we're doing in this house. So here's our fireplace wall here. Basically on this wall, we are going to do shiplap on our island. We're going to do shiplap. And then also up there, this is the exhaust hood for our gas range. Uh, we're gonna do shiplap up there as well. You're being loud, Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Come on, you can do it. Oh, good. Oh, Cinnamon, be careful. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Okay, sorry for that interruption. Like I was saying, so there's a ship lap we're doing up there too, over our range. Shiplap. What shiplap is, if you don't know, it's like those boards. It's not barn board, but it's just boards are about this wide. We're gonna make our own out of MDF, so we've gotta do that on the fireplace. And then up above there, uh, mostly just to hide that box. We had to do like a box there to mount our hood fan for our range. And then obviously we're still waiting for all the doors for the cupboards to come in. So those should be here in about a week, hoping. Got our double wall oven. Uh, this was a hot deal. This is actually from Ikea. And the package, the box that it was shipped in was damaged in shipping. And so it was 50% off. That there was 900 bucks. KitchenAid equivalent is about five grand. So we're pretty stoked. My wife is fantastic at finding really good deals on stuff. And so uh, she's gotten a lot of sweet deals for this house. But anyways, as you can see, the kitchen is still, I mean, it's usable somewhat, but we're still waiting. Our fridge, I'm gonna be picking that up in the next day or two. And then our laundry pair, gotta pick that up. But um, so this is kind of it. Pretty exciting to be in here. It'll be nice once we get some crazy guy it was like living in a fifth wheel out there and it's such an eyesore. I can't wait till he's out of there. Tool Time Tuesday is uploading and I gotta take this little poochie out for the walk. I guess this whole string was just for me explaining why it's still echoey in here. Oh, Zinny Manny. Good. To oh, you're saying hello. Good cinnamon. You're a good puppy. Yes, you are. Good girl. Good girl. You wanna go for a walk, don't you? Okay, let's, let's go outside. Oh, wait a minute. This is, uh, I'm gonna start the upload now it came out. There's a weird pause spot. Export's complete, now let's get the upload going. Okay. All right, Tool Time Tuesday is live. And what I need to do now is I think we're gonna go pick up our washer and dryer today, but my brakes on my truck are making a weird noise and I don't feel like driving to the city, getting a big heavy load on and having bad brakes. So I'm just gonna whip my truck in real quick into the garage and see, uh, just maybe take a wheel off and see what the brakes look like. I'm hoping it's not a huge deal. I don't know.
This is terrible. What do you see wrong with this brake hub? Oh, holy crap. That is awful. I felt a pulsating. I've completely worn my disc. Completely worn that out. Oh my goodness. Oh. Shame on me for letting it get this far. Wouldn't you say? Well, I don't have time to do this job right now, so I'm just gonna have to park the truck. I'm gonna put the wheel back on, drive it outside, and we're gonna have to call it. Hopefully in the next day or two, I'll order the parts and then do the work. I just want a photograph of this because this is pretty ridding dang donculus. I like to, to take photos of weird crap and ay ay ay. This might control my friends. Hey, look at my discs. Look how terrible they are. Okay. You know, having said that though, I am really, really glad that I didn't take this to town. Because that's, who knows, I mean, we're busting right through there. I hate to think what could have happened. So, I had somebody on Instagram ask about my shop, and obviously yesterday's video I showed my new shop setup, but I figured I'd take you inside the sea can and show you kind of how it is now. As you see, it's uh, much more empty, so pretty much put my quad in here for now. I've got my anvil and my forge. I had some really great ideas. People are suggesting that maybe I do this as a blacksmithing shop, and right now that's the tentative plan. You know, I've got the windows down there for ventilation. I'm not sure how bad it would be to burn this inside, but I was also thinking if I needed to, I could always uh, just keep the forge just right outside the door there, and that way I can be doing hammering in here. From what I understand, it's a lot better to be forging outside so you're not like in the direct sunlight so you can see the color of your metal better. But uh, this is pretty much it. I've taken all this shelving out, all the tables and like the drill press stand that I welded to the wall. Uh, I cut all those out. I still have some things that are remaining. Um, obviously, we just got a whole bunch of boxes and garbage bags out here right now. Uh, I need to get the compressor into the garage, but to do that, I need to run a new feed. I'm putting in a sub panel in my garage so that I can have that wired up properly and then I'll do conduit, plastic conduit on the walls in the garage and then I'll drop all my power lines to the different machines so that I won't be doing the old extension cord thing. So I did leave this workbench in here. I just put a plywood top on it for now. And I moved my bolt pin, that way I have a little more room to bring quads, dirt bikes. I've got my old dirt bike, an old DT250. I might bring that here and get that going. And then just some other random storage going on. So that's pretty much how this thing is shaped up. I'll leave this out here for when I'm working on the quad or the dirt bike. So I've had a few questions. Guys were wondering about the shipping container shop. That's the state it's in right now. I still have power out here just for the light so I can at least work on motorbikes or quads or whatever I need to out here. So about two weeks ago, I got a package in the mail and this is a huge thanks to you guys. I got the silver play button for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. And honestly guys, this, this belongs to you guys. The people who choose to watch these videos and subscribe to this channel. I, I don't know, when I started this channel, I did not ever think this would ever happen. And this isn't the reason you do it, obviously. Um, this, this is for you guys, really. I mean, you guys deserve this for choosing to watch my videos and subscribe and share and interact. YouTube has, it does a wonderful job of community and I'm just amazed at the community that I can be a part of uh, on YouTube here with you guys, you know, your, your comments, the things that I learn from you guys, the things I can share with you guys and like, viewers knives, like just being able to share what we're making with each other and people all over the world can enjoy them. It's such a cool platform. Uh, it's got its ups and its downs and, and lately it seems kind of like it's harsh to be a creator on YouTube. It feels like YouTube has kind of forgotten about the work that it takes to be a creator on YouTube, but this number here says that you guys appreciate what I'm doing and it, 
it's not the plaque, it's not the award that matters, but it's just the fact that we can grow this community and share with each other. So I thank you guys, I thank you guys, the viewers, for this plaque. Thank you so much. And YouTube, thank you for sending it to me as well. Nice little printed off letter there from Yubtub. I do appreciate this. Is, this is pretty cool. Okay. Didn't know if these things actually really existed, but they do. They do exist. All right, something else exciting to tell you guys about is that I've got some merchandise coming soon. Now, it's not quite ready yet. Uh, hopefully, maybe by the end of this week, if not, it'll be like next week, we'll launch the merchandise campaign, and it's going to be a two-week flash sale. So basically, you have two weeks to order these up, and there's, uh, I think there's two different t-shirt designs. They've got knives on them, and they're very recognizable knives that I've made. One of them has like the jump knife on it, and uh, if you see, once you see the shirts, you'll go like, oh, I remember seeing that video making that knife. So those are coming. I'm really excited about it, and it's a really great way you guys can show your support for the channel and get a cool t-shirt as well. So when that's ready to come out, I'll do a full detailed video with all the information about that, but that is coming down the pike. I'm really, really excited about this. Not sure if it'll be this week, but hopefully, hopefully it will.